All right, welcome to Old Time Hobbies. This is the first box of 2020, Allen and Ginter, for 2020. This one came from a local supply, a local shop. And uh, my three cases will be in tomorrow on Thursday, so get your teams in the breaks. We will open these tomorrow as soon as PYT number one fills. I will have boxes available. Should be in around 2 to 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. I will be on live right after the boxes get here. So we can get started on this. Ah, yes, best product of the year. I would agree, but there are a bunch of people that would say, Alan and Ginner, what? Anyway, let's show them what they're missing. Because this stuff is always nice. It is different, but it's always nice. Now, this one I'm going to go slow so we can see all the cards. So this one will probably take a few minutes. All right, we got a big box loader. No N95 in this one. And we'll save that one. Huh. That's interesting. We'll save that one for later. All right. Now I'm just going to go down the box. That way we can kind of see where the hits are. I have no idea where they are in the boxes. So we'll just start from the top. Yeah, I know. Well, you should be able to get some. All right, first pack. And let me get rid of the ad here. Two seconds. There we go. All right, Yaz. Springer. Fulton Witz. McCovey. First one, there's an A-type patch card. Segura for Philadelphia. That is an A-type. The only reason why I know that is because there's the B-type. I, I like that they're different this year. That's nice. All right, cool. So, first hit in the box is a B or an A-type. Segura. Gene Segura for second baseman for the Phillies. Nice little hit there. I like the base looking diamond jerseys better than the round ones anyway. I always thought these were better looking. They will fit in 59s nice and securely. All right, our first mini of the year is Lou Gehrig. Card number 11. Gehrig. Oh, Lordy. And 432 Park Avenue. Skyscrapers. Bryant's 2015 completion, 432 Park Avenue, was almost 1,400 feet. The world's tallest residential building. The Raphael Vinoli Design Tower on the Billionaire's Row site of the former Drake Hotel houses 125 luxury condos and a private restaurant. 1,396 feet high. My question is... <laughs> I'm proud of him for not putting his name on it. Nice card. I like that. All right, pack number two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can find everything. I just wanted to see where they put them. So it looks like they're going to stick the hits right on top of the box. So, Yount, Alonzo, McNeil. Kane. There's your Jersey B right there. Olsen. Matt Olsen for the Oakland A's. Matt Olsen. You need to leave right now. Anderson. Tim Anderson. Number 103, base many. And the first of the baseball inserts. Long ball lore. There are 50 of these. You need to leave now. Over there. You're not sitting there. Goodbye. 
LL49, Carl Yaskrimski. So there's a 50 card set, Long Ball Lore. There's a 20 card set of catchers and a 30 card set of um, pitchers. And then the other inserts will be uh, non sport. You know, I think I'm going to save this one for later. And we'll see what it is, because that should be the better hit. Since we got both the jerseys. Nola. Smoltz. Carabas. Jared Carabas, baseball writer. A season ticket holder in Fenway since 98. Jared the, is known as the Sagas Rocket is a three-time award-winning blogger and unbiased national baseball journalist from Barstoon Sports. Okay. So now we got bloggers getting cards online. Bieber. Devers. Alou. Moises Alou. That's a short print. 306. Moises Alou. All right, and Thune, who's a human, uh, oh, A.G. Back, actor-comedian, Nick Thune. A.G. Backs look nice this year. Let me get that a little bit closer. So that's the A.G. Back card this year. No number won't have the little number up there. And Silver, digging deep. Silver. Oh, rookies. Sorry, not um, not pitchers. It's rookies. A 30-card rookie set, a 20-card catcher set, and a 50-card legend set. That's what's in it this year. Helton. Marichal. Wheeler. Larkin. Sano. Monty Irvin. Monty Urban short print, 326. And a mini of Hank Aaron and the Atlanta Braves uniform. Card number 104 this year is Hank. Debut to remember, Chris Paddock. Debut to remember. So their first, first outing is a major leaguer. That is a 30-card set if I do remember right. Total of 100 cards plus the three non-baseball insert sets will make up the uh, large parallels this year. Lou Gehrig, Cody Bellinger, Nico Horner. So the rookies are down here on the card facing instead of up in the card this year. Kind of like that too. It's a good looking card. Brendan McKay rookie. Blake Snell, Babe Ruth. Oh, nice. The Swamp. The Swamp. Where Monsters Live is the name of that mini subset. The Swamp. All right, that's cool. And down on the farm, how about a barn silo? <laughs> They do come up with some interesting things to put in these. Now, I will tell you, though, I'll have teachers that buy these sets so they can use them with their kindergartners to show them what different things are on a farm. I've got guys every year that buy, buy Ginner stuff to put in their sets that are teachers. So, it always, this stuff always sells. Guriel, Turner, Verdugo. Oh, wow. Alex Verdugo in a uh, Boston Red Sox uniform. That's the first one of those I've seen. Jimenez for the White Sox. Eloy. There's the Mike Trout card this year. Nice. Trout is 85 this year. And Teft. Let's see what his thing is. Tattoo artist. 
the owner of 12 tattoos and body piercings in Groton, Connecticut. More than 20 years, he tried out for the show Ink Masters on Spike TV in 2012, then wound up winning the title in Season 2. Began at age 7. All right. So now you can get your card in an Allen & Ginter set for being a tattoo artist. And Pedro Martinez with the Mil Montreal Expos. That's an interesting team to be on. Pedro Martinez Expos. A&G back. Taipei 101. Sixteen hundred and seventy-one feet tall. At one time, I think that was the largest building in the world, wasn't it? It was bigger than the World Trade Centers. One second. Next pack. <laughs> There's Rizzo. Tony Dunst. Uh, his autograph will be nice. He's a TV personality. He's a professional poker player. But he's also uh, one of the announcers on the uh, World Poker Tour. Javi Baez. Reggie Jackson. Clevenger. Cecil Fielder, that may be a, uh, yep, that's a short print, Fielder. Nine ways to first base. This is a little interesting set they did this year in the minis. Catcher interference. Okay. And Joe Girardi, Field General, that's the catcher set. That'll be kind of a fun one, see who they get in there. Number six is Joe Girardi. Trevor Story. Toro rookie for Astros. Brian Reynolds. Alberto Mondesi. Jack Peterson. Catfish Hunter. Is a short print, 322. Looks like a lot of the old players this year are going to be short prints. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Aaron Nola Mini. Base card, 14. And Field General Pudge Rodriguez for the Texas Rangers. Yamaguchi rookie for Toronto. Tony Gwynn. Whit Merrifield. Mike Schmidt. Friedman. Now this guy is a pitching analyst. And you see him all the time on uh, ESPN and Major League Baseball. So he got his own card. Bernie Williams. Bernie Williams. Short print, 323. A black parallel Ted Williams. Card number 21 this year, Ted Williams. And Labradorite. Lab, lab, yeah. Labradorite. There you go. Mineral. Deep digging card. All right, next, Andy Pettit, Gonzalez, that should be Luis, David Dahl, Sandy Koufax, Max Scherzer, Jorge Polanco, 
not a short prince. Albert Pujols on the mini. Pujols. Base card, 110. Long ball lore, Larry Walker for the Colorado Rockies. Mr. Walker. Moncada, Otani, Suarez, Ichiro, Benatendi, Sean Casey. Did they really make Sean Casey a short print? <laughs> good, good baseball analyst, lousy baseball player. Emmerich. Let's see who Emmerich is. Oh, Doc Emmerich. He's the sports broadcaster. Okay. Doc Emmerich. That's an AG back. And debut to remember, Willie McCovey. First baseman. His uh, big league debut was on July 30th, 1959. That's uh, 61 years ago. Big Sky, what's up, man? Just doing my little unbox uh, video on uh, stuff. Glavin. Joe Torre. He's got those bug eyes again. Robles. Hosmer. Abreu. Now, oh. be the first to crack the code. And win 2020 Allen and Gitter Code Breaker Autograph Cards. Be the first to crack the code. Follow the Code Master on Twitter at twitter.com, the Ginner Code. Okay, so they're doing that again. Hmm, okay. Anderson, that should be Sparky, right? Yeah, Sparky Anderson, Cincinnati Red. That'll be a short print this year, too. AG back, short print mini. And long ball lore, Mark McGuire. I'll have to check that out on Twitter and see what it's all about. I always wanted to try doing it, but I never got into it when you could actually do it and win something. I'll give you a special one-on-one autograph set. Pretty cool. Arcia for the Brewers. Bell. Chris Bryant. Garrett Cole. BJ LeMayu. Edwards. Who is Edwards? Actor Julian Edwards. Edward rose to distinction in 2018 with the release of Netflix original movie Bird Box in which he played a young boy who accompanied his mother and sister on a dangerous journey in the forest. Okay. There you go. Young kids get their cards too. Hanley Ramirez. No, that's Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez, Cleveland Indians base. And how about a chicken card? There you go. Down on the farm. Chicken. <laughs> Altuve Andre Dawson Card number 64 Ryu Bogart Ah, there we go There's what everyone's going to be looking for Luis Robert Rookie His card is 256 this year 256 Will be Luis Robert Nice to see him in the box I buy, anyway. Burt Bly 11. That should be a short print. 311. Burt Bly 11. 
a black rookie of Albert Alize for the Cubbies. And debut to remember Crawford. That would be Brandon Crawford. His debut was May 27, 2011. Wilson Contreras, Thomas, Thune, Messina, Bauer, Larry Walker, Larry Walker, short print number 345, and we get Mr. Raleigh Fingers, that is a short print, Raleigh Fingers, 334 on the base. And a Yachty Molina on Field Generals. No, nothing huge. Nothing huge. Got the, uh, so they are going to do the crack the code again. It's uh, twitter.com slash the Ginner code. And that's how where you get the instructions, I guess, on how to look, how to figure it out. Cabrera, Matthews, Segura, Calhoun, Kepler, Liber Torres. Not a short prince. All right, there's Alex Rodriguez. That's a regular card in the set. So A Rod is not a short print. Base card in the set. And the John Hancock Center from Chicago. John Hancock Building is 1,128 foot tall. Uh, at the time it was completed, it was the second tallest tower in the 60s. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, now it's, uh, they call it something else now, but um, it's still down there and still has the nice mall in the bottom of it. So there about three weeks ago. Roger Maris. Good selection of players. Warren Spawn for the Braves. Syndergaard. Bananas. Okay. Johnny Bananas. Reality show champion and host. The winning contestant in the history of MTV's The Challenge, Bananas grew up in a California home with cable and never had ever seen the real world before he got to college. Johnny can claim most seasons competed, most wins, and most money won on the show. The free-spirited Penn State grad since has become ubiquitous presence on the reality TV. 2018, he took over as host of NBC's long-running travel series, First look. No idea. I've never heard of him. Marte. Mark Grace. And he's in an Arizona Diamondback uniform. How sacrilegious is that? Mark Grace. Arizona Diamondback short print. Grace was a, Grace was a cub for years. Bobby Dore for the Boston Red Sox. There's somebody you don't see a card too much of. Bobby Dore, Boston Red Sox. It is a short print mini. And Sapphire. In Digging Deep. Definitely not going to go through every box on the breaks. Are we? Top three on top is where they are. I went one, two. Got A and B jersey. I saved the other one because it feels a little thicker. So I'm going to save it for last. Yeah, I'm saving the last hit for the end of it. We'll see. So we'll have to pull the top packs off the box before we open the boxes. Save them for last. Yelich, Fisk, Vogelbach, Pujols, Ripken, Fotheringham. Fother? Fotheringham? Okay, Fotheringham. This is the kid that's the uh, wheelchair uh, BMX guy. Um, 
Born with spina bifida, which left him without use of his legs, Frothingham has never let anything stop him from pursuing his dreams. His older brother, Brian, a BMX racer, uh, let's see, Wheel Z recently executed the first wheelchair flare backflip 180. So this guy's nuts in a wheelchair. And Strasburg, Nationals, MVP, World Series, 249 base card, many. And the Chrysler Building in Detroit. Very nice. Chrysler Building. All right, next one. About five more packs, and then we'll get to the uh, the last hit. You know, sometimes you like holding those out because sometimes you'll get a fourth hit in the bottom of the box on these. Martinez, Price, A Rod. There's Jong, comedian. This was, I want his autograph. That'd be a good one to get. Ken Jong, a licensed physician who gave up his day job to pursue a career in comedy and acting. Wow. Ahmed. Ariez. Mini is John Smoltz. Smoltzy for the Braves. Hard number six. Long ball, long ball lore. Frank Thomas for the White Sox. Looks like three to four of each of the uh, insert big cards. Looks like they're pretty evenly distributed. Dave Winfield, Correa, Aaron, Will Smith, Byrne. All right, so this guy, actor-comedian Steve Byrne. Okay. Pedro Martinez, short print. No, not short print, just regular card, Pedro. And Dansby Swanson Mini. That's an AG back also. 263. And down on the farm, how about a barn? All right, bottom row. Well, I know what we can do. We can just flip the boxes over. We'll do them bottom to the top. That'll make it easier. Posey. Pence, Zito, Musial, Gould, Derek Gould, baseball writer, Conseco, Conseco is a short print, 327, Ryu, mini AG back, 292, and a blue appetite, blue appetite. Digging deep. Now there are relic versions of all of these, so it'll be like they were a few years ago where you get a little chip of the stone in them. So those will be pretty neat. Be fun to hit one of those. Most definitely. And as you know, there is a non baseball spot in the Island Ginner PYTs. That spot gets every player that's not on a Major League Baseball team. So all the regular cards and the parallels, the insert sets that have a specific baseball player tied to a specific team will go to the teams. The non-sports guys like the baseball writers and the little kids and, and the uh, gyms and barn animals, all that go to the non-baseball spot. Hello. Jay Buhner, 349, short print. Jay Buhner, originally from the Fort Worth, Dallas area of Texas. Oh, Maryland, yes. Yes, I'm sorry. Allen and Ginner, Booming Cities, San Paulo. San Paulo, Booming Cities, many. And a debut to remember, rookie card of Brendan McKay for the Tampa Bay Rays. Tampa Bay. 
He got his first win against the Rangers. Imagine that. And, oh, nice. Right on the front. Jordan Alvarez, rookie. Right on the front. Yeah. The first big one of those we've got. There's uh, Jim Abbott. Carter Kaboom. Kikuchi. Ted Williams. Fred McGriff. And McGriff is a Toronto Blue Jay. And that is a short print, number 313. Under the bed, where monsters live, under the bed. <laughs> nice, that'll be a fun set. And our last card in there is a Field General, Jason Veritek. And that will be Boston Red Sox, Veritek. All right, so the last hit pack. This was the top right. Let's see what we get in here. Well, I think I think the guy did pretty good picking me a box. So this is cool. Biggio. Garcia Para. Another Garcia Para. What the? Okay, there's a boo boo. How about two of the same card next to each other? Gotta love it. Sixty-eight and sixty-eight. Brandon Woodruff. Albert Alizé, rookie. Michael Conforto. A mini of Ty Cobb. Ty Cobb mini. Number 74. And down on the farm, pig. We get a pig. All right. Jordan. We got a rip card. We got a rip card. Awesome, dude. It is. Rip it or keep it. It is. I'm going to be somebody bad so I can rip it. Oh, no. It's Ichiro. But it's out of 99. Ichiro out of 99. All right, 91 of 99, Ichiro. So guess what? This one's getting ripped because it's out of 99. All right, just in case you guys ever want to do this, all you got to do, you don't need anything special, take it at the top and very carefully pull down on the card all the way to the bottom and just let it hang. Then you come inside, grab it, and just peel the card back. And we get Randy Johnson. A Randy Johnson mini. This will be just an extended. But that's how you do it. They do put a black in in there so you can't see through the card. So we got Randy Johnson Mini, number 395. So that's probably $20 to $25. The rip card was probably $30 to $40. So you're not going to win every time you do these. But it could have been an auto. It could have been a one one It could have been a lot of things. So there you go. Rip it or lose it. In this situation... It's one more card toward the set. The short print extended sets are only available in the rip cards. So building that set is extremely difficult and extremely expensive. So we got a Randy Johnson for the Mariners. But in a break, this card would still go to the Mariners because it was there. But that's not always going to happen. That could have just as easily been Mike Trout. So to save these cards, slide them back together, sleeve them, and put them in a top load, they're still worth something ripped. Probably go for 10 bucks. Because once you get them sleeved back up, they go in a 108. 
And there you go. So they don't look too bad. They're designed to rip. That was rip card number 90. There are 100 base rips and 25 dual rip cards this year. Okay, and that's, uh, well, that doesn't quite do it. We still got one more thing. The world champion, one oversized box loader card inside. And what will we get this time? This could be players. This could be farm animals. It could be a lot of different things. So let's see what we get here. Haven't seen any pictures of these yet. And we're going to get a pretty nice one to start with. How about Bo Bichette? How about a Bo Bichette A and G box loader? Bo Bichette. That would look really nice with his auto right across here. Very nice card. Cabinet box loader of Bo Bichette. All right, that was a pretty good box. It just so happens that I've got top loaders for these. And there we go. All right, this stuff's going to be really fun to open. Oh, my God, the card's so heavy it won't stand up. <laughs> we'll just stick it back there. Okay, and that will do it for this one-box break of Allen and Ginter 2020. Very nice box. We get a rip card. No autograph, but so what? We got a rip card. All right, y'all have a good day. Thank you.